Hello everyone, happy Sunday. I'm cleaning my room, my office, whatever you want to call this. I failed miserably on the a video a day for March Madness, my fault. Um, and uh, so cleaning the room, I figured, well, let's knock out a video because I got a lot of stuff done this weekend for myself. And this is just a very impromptu video. So I figured, let me show you a couple things that I think are interesting for this video, okay? Now, what I'm doing right now is I finally got my 3D printer working a game, okay? What am I making right here? Well, uh, I am making a 120 millimeter fan shroud uh, to go, I'm making three of them to go for my crypto mining rig that I'm building for cryptocurrency. That's, don't even ask. All right, let's not ask, but it's going to basically, these fans are getting moved, and I got NVIDIA GPU cards down here, and yeah, so in the meantime, I figured, well, I have to make some forced air induction, so I'm going to 3D print these. I did find these online. No, I did not make this, but this 3D printer's been down for a while, and the reason it was down for a while was because the board that's in here, uh, well, no, first... The extruder, the, the heating element, you know, the extruder and the, the poly tube, whatever, had melted. It, it went on the fritz, uh, the thing overloaded. I could not get, I was pouring, you know, different heads in there and it would get stuck and the heating extruder wasn't working correctly. So I replaced all that. And no, the bread ties aren't staying. I just got that replaced uh, not too long ago. But then when I went to wire the new heater extruder here i busted off the card in the sd slot and because i guess i didn't have it right and i i see i screwed it back together and it took off the end of the the memory card and i couldn't get it out of the slot i tried digging it out i ruined it so what did i do i bought this now this is oh i didn't buy this this is the original this is the Creality Ender 3 Max that you're looking at here for 3D printing. And uh, this was the board that was in it. Now you can see, I tried getting that memory card out, all right? Broke it. So um, the good thing about the card I put in here, the main board I put in, is it's silent. Listen, listen. What I didn't know, because it used to go, well, these are, the, the stepper motors are driven by these here. These are your stepper drivers. They make a new board that is silent. So I figured, well, let's go for the silent upgrade. And it's supposed to have more accurate, faster prints at a silent speed. So there's different heat sinks and a couple different board layouts. So I put that in. And here we go. I got it working. Okay. So... If you have a Creality 3 Ender and you want a board replacement, this was a 4.2.2 board. Um, this one was a little, you know, like stock, and they get quieter as you get the silent upgrade. Listen. You can't hear it going. It doesn't do that anymore. All right. Uh, one thing I will tell you, do you see that? That level or the BL touch right there, auto leveling kit, that's disabled right now. You know why? I think this is garbage. To be honest with you, this does not work. Now, I had it set up on the old board. I put the new board in. It had a different version, different firmware. But that thing just doesn't work right, okay? I want to show you something. This is all with me hand leveling the print bed, all right? So if I can get the print even all the way across by hand leveling it with the, with the bed levelers there. So you got one there, one there, one here. I don't need that stupid thing. I think that was garbage. Also, this right here, if you're interested in this Wi-Fi box, no good. Useless. Now, what I have on here is a custom firmware, which I have to remember where I started and where I left off. This is supposed to be... This is the uh, Creality Wi-Fi box right here. Never got it working. Was never useful. Um, you know, 
there's other options out there like that you could plug a camera in and you could watch this thing remotely this doesn't work unless you put the the uh, other firmware on there which was a hassle i think i bricked it twice i had to you know flash it back to original this was a waste of my time too okay so between the bl touch and the creality wi-fi box i think it's a waste of time so let's show you what i have printed so far okay i want to show you a couple things that I was playing with. Now, I printed a lot of things on here. I've got a, <laughs> a couple soap dishes out there uh, in, my, my, in my house. My wife's um, uh, cat-themed napkin holder. I mean, I printed some fun stuff because she's always like, well, what do I get out of it? You know, okay, okay Michelle, I'll print whatever. Pick something on here, you know. She picked it. I printed it. But I'll show you a couple things. Ham radio or not ham radio. First off, here is my partial of my... Space Gat SG-22. Um, I, I don't have it together yet. This piece comes off. I did put all the hardware in here, like the springs and stuff for the lower. This is the lower, okay? I ordered the mag online, the trigger, the safety switch, the handle. I printed the lower receiver. I printed this. Now I have to get... Um, now I have to get uh, the rest of the part. Actually, this part here I printed for the the stock in the back so that's just fun right but what else did i print well uh guys excuse my mess you ready i told you i'd clean out my office all right so these were some insulators that i printed and i've used these several times uh everything i print is pla or pla plus i'm going to show you what i think is the best filament here in a second uh these are insulators for ham radio i made a couple orange a couple black they have worked they worked uh rather well for dipoles and stuff like that. I mean, you could buy insulators, but look, this, this took an hour and a half to print and uh, not that much filament and it worked. Okay, I made some orange, some black. Now, Jim originally had printed uh, this for me. Now, this is out of ABS because he has a printer that can do ABS. And this is the case for my ICOM 705 with the stand. All right, he's got the stand on here, and then uh, the little parts he printed. I never did put this together. However, it's very brittle. You can see that it's already cracked. I never did put my 705 in here, but right away, I had to one-up Jim and print my own right here, which, well, this wasn't my own. This is by, designed by IU1OPK, all right? And basically, this is a... If you can, I, I'm trying to do this one-handed, guys. Let's see. All right, this is going to be a Icom 705 case like this, right? You put the screws in, you get the idea for an Icom 705. Um, so that's that. And then, what else did I print? Oh, I printed this. This was a test, but uh, this is a, <laughs> I forget what you call this one. This is like a little handmade little 22. And this was one of my very first prints. So that's why I, I may never build this thing, but I thought, wow, this is going to be easy. And then I realized, well, it's not, right? By the way, I'm looking at this here. And there went that. Technician class license manual. Ham radio prep. Guys, <laughs> this is Michelle's. Look, I've signed it for her. All right. But if you're interested in getting your ham radio license, Use the code ERIC20 at Ham Radio Prep upon checkout. You save 20% on any course you buy. All right. You can see I have the logbook here. All right. I got uh, this. But basically, Ham Radio Prep is a great sponsor of mine. And we got another sponsor coming online. So stay tuned for that. So this right here is the, 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 what, the revolver chamber thing. And that would go. Let me get this down here. <clears throat> right. This would, this would go in here. Like that, right? And then there's other pieces, the trigger I printed, and then you put weights in here and some other stuff. But hey, you know what? I mean, this isn't a gun channel, but I've been playing around with some stuff. Uh, and, you know, I've been cleaning some stuff. So this is <laughs> this is uh, a mess right here. But let me, let me talk about, real quick, let me talk about, move this stuff here, okay? All right, so, Right here on this filament and the filament I have down here, what I have left of it, I want to show you something. I think 
by far the best filament that I've used. I mean, for the budget, eSun right here, Amazon and Gigaparts. These came from Gigaparts, okay? Um, I ordered a, a couple other things. They had these actually a dollar cheaper than Amazon. I bought them. Uh, so you have one. Now, this is eSun. I used the other eSun, so this is green. And then we have uh, eSun, let me see, right here, pink, right? Because I don't know why I ordered pink. That was a while ago. And then the eSun, I think, is great. Now, this is the second best that I think. And you guys, you guys may tell me, wow, you're wrong, Eric. Well, I'm sorry. The Overture PLA did not work out as good as the eSun, all right? This, they have the, the cardboard rolls. Uh, you know, they, they, they're they uh, probably a good product. I did not like it. I did not. I mean, I printed the ICOM 7 to 5 case. The thing, we're talking about when you print something, like, let's look at this for a second. All right, I'm going to show you the third one and why I'm using pink right now. You see this? So this is building, right? So you have your 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 adhesion right here. Then you have, you know, what it's building here. These are the supports. These are all getting knocked out. Um, but basically, you see how nice that went first shot? Let me show you what happens when you don't. Uh, when you don't have good PLA. So I went to bed last night. Okay, here. Let's do it. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. All right. Okay. You see this? This is the first time on pink. Esun. PLA, PLA plus actually. All right, so I put this on, well, we got 10% uh, already. Now, I'm gonna show you what I put on last night. You ready? The same thing. That's what I woke up to this morning, is this right here, all right? Did not stick, did not, you know, that's what I woke up to this morning right here. It was dragging it all over. What a waste of time and money. Do you know what this was? I'm gonna tell you. Three D fuel. I think this stuff is horrible. This is not the first time that I've used this and had bad results. And if you are a three D printer and you think I'm wrong, that's fine. Uh, this black up here was printed with different. That was printed with. Um, it wasn't E Sun. It wasn't three D fuel. It wasn't Overture. It was something else. Because black is the the hardest one. I mean, the black is always the first one that goes out of stock. So it's whatever you get. And that's why I did not get Eson Black. Why? Because they were out of stock. But this right here, I think was horrible. And you can see right here, nothing changed. That's what I got. It never even stuck. Look at, look at the bed plate here. Nothing changed. The, P, the e Eson is, uh, is working quite well. Nothing's changed. I'm printing at 215 degrees on the extruder and 70 degrees Celsius on both. Uh, with the bed, okay? There you go. Look how nice that is. You can see this was an attempt at that, right? That's an attempt. <laughs> and I wake up with this, All right? So anyways, uh, 3D printing. Oh, oh my gosh. Hold on, let me pause this video. Here's one more thing when you're on top of what you just saw. This I did not print. This is professional. This is multicolor. They made, oh, let's see. Oh, honey, what do you think of this? Isn't it cool? I think it's beautiful. Yeah, I never even yeah. put this up. This is from Jonathan Canfield, W5WJC. Just wanted to say thanks for the effort you put into making YouTube videos. This is a 3D printed plate I made that I hope you'll appreciate. Now, I appreciate this you need a to put lot. put that on your bike. We're putting it on your bike. No, we're putting, <laughs> <laughs> we're putting this on my desk, but he's going to say, wow, well, it it's still in the bag. It's a plate for your bike. I know. I'm a big, I'm a big uh, <laughs> keep it in the bag kind of guy. I always have original boxes for everything. Keep it and, safe. Yes. Yeah. So this is what happens. Now, you've seen my, what you just saw in the room, but this is white and then dark green light green and orange so he was he had a printer that he could either dual extrude or he could change colors on the fly uh, i'm not good at that yet but it's got the stand and everything so it sure is beautiful that is 3d printed and if you're wondering well i don't know what he used 3d printing this because you could tell the quality is absolutely phenomenal that's the bag you're seeing here 
Look at this. Take it out. Take it out. Open it up. Look at the quality on that. I mean, there's there's no frayed edges. I mean, that is just take the plate out. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the quality at that. that that is. So that takes a lot of uh, adjustment on the printer. A lot of a good PLA or good um, PETG Beautiful. filament. But right there, that is pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. This is just a video. Like I said, my room is a mess. I failed miserably at March Madness. Honey, your comments on that? Well, hey, man. I've been see, working. He put a dent in the room. No, no. What what has happened the last couple of weeks, man? I've been absolutely buried. Oh ever. yeah. Driving oh, yeah. all over the state. There's no oh, time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, hey yeah, guys, yeah. work comes first, man. I just figured I'd, if you don't like this video that I just knocked out in my room uh, with the mess that I have, then you can unsubscribe and never watch my videos again. <laughs> Seven three everyone.